Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So, what, what's up? Modulation. So, modulation. I will ask questions, you got to answer. So, when I say modulation, why we need modulation? Because we have on one side data which has to be converted into the signal, in some sort of signal, because why? We have to transmit it using some channel. So, when we are transmitting through some channel, channel can be baseband or broadband. Which one is better? For long haul. Broadband. Broadband is for long haul because baseband is more susceptible to noise and all other things like baseband like base memory we have like we have dc components and these are all you know attenuations what we have read about these are the digital signal is more uh, susceptible to this these things than the analog analog is a bit resilient so a better idea is if you are sent for the long haul uh, let, let it be analog what's that called baseband or broadband broadband, broadband channels getting me so we read so if we have the digital data digital data we send it, uh, convert it into the digital signal we have done it that's for line coding. Coding. coding we did it so now then we have the digital data again but convert it into the analog signal when we will convert it into analog signal when the channel is analog, analog. we have channel analog we want to convert it but having said that you know uh, if you have a short uh, you know transmission uh, you have to transmit data from a, for a short distance then digital uh, signal no need to have an analog channel better is then the digital signal but digital channel uh, baseband channel okay but if it's a long haul I'm saying long haul okay then we'll have all sort of problems all kind of innovations we can have DC components we can have then everything come into play you getting me so at that time for long haul we better is what Analog. 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 Better is analog. Better is analog. Okay. Now digital data. You want to convert into analog signal. The first thing what we have because for the analog signal we have three things. What? Either we can use amplitude, amplitude, amplitude or we can use frequency. Okay. Or we can use phase. We can use phase. We may have three things. We have three uh, tools to represent our bits. We can represent zero or one using the either amplitude using maybe two amplitudes one high amplitude one lesser amplitude when you increase you know the tone of your sound basically you are increasing the amplitude is it? Yes, when you are increasing the harshness of your sound you know sharp sound you are increasing the frequency yes, because if uh, you speak louder amplitude is higher that's what amplifier does in your uh, you know, masjid we have an amplifier what is, do what is doing amplifier? You have an amplifier, you have a sound wave, for example, this, when it goes out, it goes like this. It increases the amplitude. So it becomes louder. The amplifier, that's what we call the amplifier. Basically, it increases the amplitude. Amplify the, this thing. Okay? Now, whatever. And frequencies, you know, girls have more frequency in, in their voice. Because Scream. more sharper. Scream. Like screamy voice, is it? Mm. Then scream you know more more cycles per second. It goes to a long distance, but it does not have. Uh, it's not loud. Exactly. It can will it go to the more more distance frequencies. If you have more frequency, no. More frequency, lesser distance. More wavelength, okay. Frequency and wavelength, they are you know inversely proportional. If you have more wavelength, for example, you have a red color versus the violet. Violet has more frequency, red has less frequency, but more wavelength. Who will go further? Red. Red. red will go further because if you say any of the signs, what kind of signs we have? What color sign we have? Red colors. Red. Danger signs. Red colors. Ambulances. Red colors. Why so? Because red can travel long distances, long distances because of less frequency, more wavelength. wavelength. Frequency, if you have a more frequency, means you can send more data. You can have a lot of channels in it. Because what maximum times we use frequency to represent data. Not true for all the times, but we may have some other uh, versions. Like in mobile technology, we have CDMA. Then we don't use frequency, we use basically the code. Okay? Uh, we use different codes to represent the channels. But in F, like a GSM. Okay? In GSM, we use the frequency. Or we can use the time. We will discuss that later on. We'll talk about the you know mobile technology. We come up back. We said the frequency. We have amplitude and we have the phase. 
Now, if you have a phase, you can represent your one or zero binary data because we are talking about digital data. We can represent the zero or one using the phase. Maybe we use two phases, okay? Or we may use the different amplitudes, like these two amplitudes. Or we may use the different frequency. For example, to represent uh, the zero, we may have lesser frequency. For example, one, we may have more frequency. But amplitude and phase remains constant. Phase zero and amplitude is constant. Say they have same amplitude. Frequency change. In this case, amplitude change, frequency and phase remains constant. And in the phase, we may change the phase because this say this is starting from zero. We can start from the 180. We can start from the 90 degree. We can start from the 270 degree or so on. If we are uh, change the phases using the 90, 90, 90, 90, okay? I'm saying zero, then 90, then 180, 270, multiples of 90. It's called quadrature. It's called what? Quadrature. Okay, we will we'll do that. But we may change the phases at any, whatever you want. Okay? You, you can change the phase from 0, 35, 45, anything. You can, you can change the phase anything. But for that, you need a very sophisticated uh, recipient which can, you know, uh, receive these, you know, signal, you know, sense these phase changes. Because if you go for subtle phase changes, you get what I mean? But still, phase is a better way to represent than your frequency, than your amplitude. Why? Because amplitude is more prone to the noise, more prone to the other uh, thing, what, what is called the, uh, the attenuations. Uh, what, 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 what we have said to them? Transmission impairments. Now, there are a lot of transmission impairments. Frequency, especially amplitude. Amplitude is more prone to that. You know, if something happens, it attacks the amplitude. Amplitude goes up or down quickly. Okay? Then comes next the frequency. After that, lesser effect is on the phase. To come change your guy from 0 degree to 90 degree, it is really tough. But amplitude can change. You know, spark or something comes up in a wire. Some spark comes up, noise, external noise. It can increase your voice or decrease your voice. Or when you send your signal, we, have, we already have seen the Fourier components, different Fourier components in a com complex signal. We read that they lose different amount of energy. So they may, they may lose their frequency. They may lose their amplitude. They damp. You getting me? Like for example, you have a simple pendulum, it's going on, okay? With the passive time, it damps. Losing the frequency. As well as amplitude. So, because, because of the frictions here, in the simple pendulum, right? Because of the uh, different things here, there, in the wire, there's an electronic repulsion. There is the external noise. There are a lot of things, okay? Um, that can damp your frequency, that can damp your amplitude. So amplitude and frequency is not a better way to represent, okay? Uh, and a phase is much better way to represent your data. But they have their pros and cons. Everything has a, their pros and cons. We have, to be, we have to see a lot of things before we say what signaling we'll be doing. What technique in signaling we'll be doing. Does it make sense? Okay, so we may have three, no, whatever, we may have three tools to represent our data. One is amplitude, frequency, and frequency. In amplitude, we have an ASK. First thing is the ASK, amplitude shift keying. Okay, where well, we use two different amplitudes to represent data. Let's say, for example, this is 0, 1, 1, 0, and I want to represent it. Say for 0, okay, should I say square wave or should I say the sinusoidal? Sinusoidal because this is analog. We are converting to the analog signal. This is data analog signal. So my channel is analog, so my signaling got to be analog. That is to be sinusoidal. And what, what I am doing here is I am saying zero. Say for this amplitude for zero, and then greater amplitude for one, bigger the same amplitude. For example, for this one, and the smaller amplitude for zero. So two different amplitudes for representing zero and one, we call it as ESK. And, as, and a variation of it is called on-off keying. It's called what? On-off key. On off key. In on-off key, what we do is, say for this is zero, we represent no voltage, and one, we represent some voltage, zero, then there's a one, we represent some voltage, but zero don't represent. Say for this is zero, then this is, this is zero, one, one, zero, then let it be zero, one, again nothing, then one. 
means if you have zero don't represent with some voltage but if you have one represent with some voltage okay but the thing is that what will be the problem with this idle zero yes where is the idle zero versus delta zero that can be the problem but we have the version called on off king mm -hmm. this is sometimes used you getting me there's a call on somebody Ah, uh, no. Ah, somebody comes. Hello. Ah, mess. Bono. Table, table, man. T R or like that row, man. Or T D means column. Column, column, kill me. T H like that head column. Ah, exactly. आपके पहला column जो होगा आपके पास वो हम टी एच से लगाते हैं यानी कि आपके पास टी आर आपने टी आर लगाया कॉलम लगाया पहला ऊपर वाला फिर उसमें हम टी एच लगाते हैं जितने कॉलम हमारे पास होंगे उसमें बोल्ड आएगा सेंटर आएगा खुद ही हाँ दिस इज एस्टिमल टाइप आपको कहाँ जरूरत है अच्छा अच्छा ठीक चलो चलो और बाकी ठीक ओके अल्लाह एस्टिमल टेबल previous student HTML you don't have a table yet right otherwise you must be <laughs> understanding like a bullet has gone okay you getting my point on say uh, what I'm saying on of king yeah but we use sometimes we use why we use we'll see that later on but the next thing is the frequency shift king FSK but whatever it is we have are we increasing the bits per board no. What is board? What is the board rate? Hello, you. Sir. What is board rate? Sir. You all look tired, huh? <laughs> College is far away. The board rate is the signal through which we send bits. Number of signals per second. How many board rate means how many signals you are sending? Is it? What is bit rate? Number of number bits per second. Yes, we 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 can later on we see in it uh, how to increase the bits per board. Per board. Are getting me? Okay. So we have the frequency FSK. FSK frequency shift king. In frequency shift king, what are we gonna be using? Frequency. Definitely we're gonna we're gonna have two kinds of frequencies, two different versions of frequencies to represent my zero and one. Is it? So if it is zero, one, one, zero, zero, one. Say for example, this is the phase and Phase and amplitude and remains constant. Yes, what we gonna change? Frequency. frequency. Say for zero, we represent this as my frequency. One cycle, nothing other than that. Mm -hmm. And for one, I'm losing two cycles. Okay? For one, I'm losing two cycles. For zero, I'm using only one. For zero, I'm using one. Okay? For one, I'm using some two cycles. Whatever. So there are two different frequencies. To represent one and represent zero. If you have zero, use lesser frequency. One, use more frequency. More frequency. What is frequency? Number of cycles per second. You are increasing. You know, I got two cycles per second for one, and one cycle per second for zero. This is only for example purposes. But we can have different versions here. There. What exactly we will do? Okay. We may use five cycles. No, it's not, um, like you are one, you can represent like fifty hertz, like fifty cycles per second, for representing one. No, like that. Not just for example. I'm saying, I'm not going to use fifty cycles. That will be messy. Does it make sense what I'm doing? Sure. Then the third thing is what? Phase. Phase shift key. Phase shift key. PSK. What we do in a PSK is we use phase. We may have two different phases. Okay? Then 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 it's called by PSK. That's called what? By by. By we are using two phases. To represent uh, our zero and one. Don't sleep. You getting me? Yes, so, because uh, until right, right until now, well, what we are doing is we are using one signal per bit. Per, yes. That means what my bit rate is, that's same as my baud rate. Okay. But after that, I will change that. So here, first in B BBSK by phase shift king, what I'm doing? Different phases. Different phases. Different phases. Different phases. We use two phases. Only two phases. Say zero and ninety. For example, if I have zero, one, one, zero, one, to represent zero, I'm using phase zero. 
phase, sorry, this amplitude and frequency remains constant. Okay. For one, maybe I'm using a 180 degree. I'm starting from this 180 degree. For one, I have to use from 180 degree. From zero? Zero. So let's start from zero. For one? 180. Now two phases. Now one signal represents zero. Once one of this represents one. So per signal only one bit. So what my bit rate is that is same as baud rate. If I'm gonna bits one, two, three, four, five bits, I'm sending one, two, three, four, five signals. So bit rate and baud rate is same because I am writing one bit over a one signal. Because this represents my zero. This was my, if I send this signal, it will get you this, this thing. So baud rate is not increasing. Uh, decreasing in fact. Should I increase the baud rate or decrease the baud rate? Decrease. What should be our aim? To increase the bit rate. rate. To and decrease the, the automatically if you increase the bit rate, baud rate. But bit rate can be increased by sending more bots. <laughs> Means sending more signals. But I, I don't know that. Signal is like your carrier. Okay, you have a train, you have boxes and you are putting people in that. The people is data. The What carrier you have. Depending upon its analog channels, digital channel, whatever it is, what kind of ta what kind of what technique you are using for modulation also uh, that will also come into play. But the carrier is the board signal. So how many signals you are sending? How many? How many? How many? For example, if if you have from the train in a one box, one person sits. So if you have ten boxes, ten people, or you may have cars. We are sending cars. Ten cars, ten people. Only driver is driving that. It is like that. But now we want to load more people in a particular car. Signal is only the one, but bits representation is more. So for that we have one of the things in this is called a quadrature PSK. It's called what? Not quadrature QAM, the quadrature amplitude modulation, not that. I'm just saying in PSK, version of PSK called quadrature PSK. Okay, but before that I show the quadrature PSK, I should show the because which is uh, having same bit versus same baud. You getting it? What I'm saying? Yes, yes. What does it mean same bit versus same baud? No, no, he will tell me. It's a number of bits, number of signals. They are same. Yes, when is that possible? When we are representing per signal, how many bits we present? One bit. One bit. Very good. Is it? One bit. Uh, we have one more version of it. Having the same situation, where the bits are same, bit rate is same than a baud rate, okay? And that's called as the differential uh, PSK. But you should be, we have done line coding, we have done differential Manchester encoding. Yes, sir. Yeah, you tell me. Huh? Inverting. Yes. Inverting at uh, zero or inverting at one. So bit representation is not done by the... Why low high or high low is it? Yes. It is represented by inversion or not inversion? Not. Presence of inversion or not, not, not presence, presence of, of inversion. inversion? Is it? Have we done that? Yes. Uh, you getting me? And uh, similarly here, we got a differential, uh, differential PSK. What differential PSK is doing is if we will represent one, then there should be a phase change. If there is a zero, there should no phase change. So differential DPSK. Huh? You write, write it, differential phase shift king. We say zero, no phase shift. And for one, you're gonna do phase shift. Okay, for one, you're gonna do what? Phase, phase shift. shift. That means if we have the data like this, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, for example. You getting me? Yes, sir. Good. Then you have like this. Now you have zero. You have what? Zero. 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 Say first of all, I will present zero with, as a zero phase. Okay? Now one. Again, I, I may choose any phase. Hmm. No, it's arbitrary to choose any. You can choose zero, 90, 180, 270, whatever you like. Okay? It will change. Now uh, maybe I'll be using two phases. One is zero, one is 180. But 180 phase doesn't mean it is 1. 180 phase doesn't mean it is 0. Phase will not represent the bit as we had in different Manchester encoding. Okay? In Manchester encoding, okay, the transition between the bit was for synchronization. 
Hydrogen. Is it? Hydrogen. But bit representation was done by what? High to low or low to high? Now depending on Thomson or IEEE, whatever you do. Is it? You will give me exam on that, of that, okay? Don't forget. Only I'm seeing th these two guys are learning this. This side, what happens? Yes, I haven't read that. But you come up with that, okay? But in differential Manchester encoding, the synchronization is done by the transition between, okay? And the bit representation is not done by zero to high or high to low. It can be either zero, it can be one. Only difference is, are you transiting or not? You are changing or not? Here, what is doing here? What are we doing here? One, we should do phase shift. Now they, this is one, because where we are at, we had started from the zero. One, we should shift the change to 180. Okay? Now again one. We started this from 180, we should change it, say for, we have chosen 2, 0 and 180. Now 1 is again phase shift, zero. this zero. previous one started from 180. 180, so we should change it, we should say 0. Hmm. Okay? Yes, now 0, no phase shift, no phase shift. No listen, listen here only, listen first. What is the 0 se pehle jo tha, isma kya phase tha? 0, 0. Carry on with that. Zero phase of yes, Say from this is also zero. Is zero se pehle jo signal ska phase kya tha? Zero. Carry on with that. Is zero se pehle phase kya tha? Zero. Carry on with that. Don't shift the phase. Okay? Now one. Shift. Change the phase. Kaan se? From 180. 180. Zero. So one means do the phase shift. Zero means uh, do not do the phase. Don't 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 do the phase shift. Sir, one to zero. Yes. <coughs> hmm? One to zero. One. Yeah, zero one one zero. Yes. <coughs> if this is zero, whatever the previous phase is, continue with that. Previous was one. One. Previous was previous previous was this one. It was from zero. Why gonna change to zero? Uh, no no carry on with that. No no phase shift. Or zero. If zero over, don't do the phase shift. So if, if the previous one was zero, carry on with the zero. Yes, hmm. Carry on with the zero. Carry on with the zero. But if it is one, do the fish. <coughs> now if you look at here, now one is represented by 180. Yes. And if you see here, one is represented by zero. zero. Hmm. So zero phase doesn't mean it is one. Mm -hmm. 180 phase doesn't mean it is one. It can be, one can be a, sometimes zero, sometimes this. Only the presence and not presence of inversion in phase represents the bit. If I am seeing my previous phase was this and new phase is changing, then it is one. <coughs> if what my previous phase was and new phase is again the same, then it is zero. So absence and the presence of phase shift depicts gives us the whether it is one or zero. But are you seeing that you are representing more bits per signal? No. <coughs> but now we want. <coughs> These are old stuff. We want more people to be loaded in a particular carrier in one signal more bits and send them you getting me good mm -hmm. does it make sense understanding you can ask questions no problem don't think we're recording it questions are always well if you have doubts you can ask no problems whatsoever yes any questions? Okay, buddies. Now we move. We move. What are you going to do now? <coughs> we want what? More bits. We want more bits per signal. So that is what? If I am sending this signal. Okay, okay. If I am sending this over to us, I will not be able to Okay. okay. Now, if I am sending this signal, listen here, listen to me first. If I am sending this signal, if I send it like this, it's 0. If I send it like this, it is 1. For example, look, if I send it like this, it is 0. If I send it like this, it's 1. Now, I should do something because I had only two combinations. I have two. I have two. 
I'm having only two combinations, one and two. So if I have two combinations, I can represent it with a zero or one. If I have, say for example, four combinations, if I what? Four combinations. So I can use zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. If I'm having four combinations, look, if I'm having two colors only. I'm having black, I'm having white. I say, hey, if it is black, it is zero, if it is white, it is one. Okay? I'm having only two colors. That, that's what we are having in the whole story. We are having only two things. Two amplitudes. One amplitude this, one bigger amplitude. One lesser frequency, one more frequency. Zero phase, one eighty phase. I was having only two colors. If you have two colors, black and white, you say black is zero and uh, white, white is one. one. Okay? Or if you want to go with differential, then you say, don't say black is zero and one, white is one, rather say uh, presence and inversion of color. Whether after white it is white, then it is zero. zero. Then if it is changing, it is one. That's differential stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yes. Sir. But if I, what if if I got four colors now? <clears throat> if I got four colors, I got black, white, cyan, and magneta. I got four colors now. If I got four colors, my binary says you can represent two bits with that, because with the four colors, one, two, three, four, four. you can have. Two colors, two colors and four combinations. No, no, no. Colors are like these boxes. Sir, what? Black, 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 white, white, black, white, white. Don't do that. This is this is you are loading bits on it. Bits. You are loading what? My color is this. This is black. This is white. This is cyan. This is magnet. This is magnet. Okay, I got four colors. Now, if I got four colors, for the four colors, how many combinations I can have? 16. I can have the if I got a four I can have the I can have the I can represent per color can represent me two bits per color can represent me how many two bits okay so every variation we can do that for example if we go you can understand it we can have if we have the quadrature PSK we have what now we have four phases in quadrature PSK. Quadrature right on quadrature PSK. You are using four phases, multiples of ninety. Multiples of what? Ninety. That means you are using um, zero degree phase, ninety degree phase, one eighty degree phase, and two seventy degree phase. <coughs> And if I have four phases, if I have what? Four phases. Like four colors now I'm having, each color can represent me two bits. Two bits. Each color can represent me what? Two bits. Because two to the power two equals four. Because two to the power two equals four. So if I want to have four colors, I can represent how many bits? Two bits. Two because bits. I need all combinations. Okay? If you are not understanding, then what I'm telling you is this zero degree can represent me zero zero. This 90 represents me 0, 1, this represents me 1, 0, and this represents me 1, 1. Because I got all combinations. I got what? All combinations. So to represent all combinations of 0, 0, 0, 1, there are two bits, I need four different variations. Say for me, if I have only these two variations, mm. what do we have? 0, 0, 0, 1. Exactly. We can have only, uh, not only 0, 0, we can say, we can have only 0 and 1. 0, zero and? Two, this is 0, this is 1. Sometimes if it is zero degree, I say it is zero. If it is ninety, I say one. Now I have now four combinations, four colors. Okay, I can go for two two bits. I can go for what? Two. I say if it is zero degree, it is zero zero, not zero only. Okay. If it is ninety, it is zero one. If it is one eighty, it is one. Zero. If it is two seventy, it is one one. Now if you are if you are sending if you are sending the phase zero. You are not sending only zero, you are sending zero zero. Zero bits. Okay? Yes. If you are sending the phase 90 degree, you are not sending only the one. Zero one. Zero it is one. same which, which we had, one ascend one, only one ascend one. Yes. But here it is sending me zero one now. It has a two bit meaning. Two bits. Yes. Okay? When then whenever you see somewhere 90 phase, you say hey it is zero one. That is equal to one. If you want to send one, for example, but it is giving me more, more information. It is now 0, 1, 2 bits. If I want to send 1, 0, I have to send 180 degree. Whenever you see 180 degree phase, it is 1, 0. When you see 270 phase, it is 
one one. So the quadrature PSK is using four phases. So if you have four phases, you can use two bits. You can represent. What does that mean? Per signal. Yes, two bits. Two bits. So are we increasing bit rate or baud rate? Bit rate. Bit rate. Baud rate will decrease definitely decrease. because now if I had to send two zeros, one is a zero zero I had to send, I had to use two signals. Now I'm seeing only one signal. Per signal two bits are loaded. Now I want more. The greed is more. The greed is we want more, definitely. Per signal or our more. So what I'm doing is if I go for I can go for more phases. Yes, sir. More phases, more bits. I go for what? But if you got a more, 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 more phases, then you have what you need a very sophisticated rece rece uh, receptor which can see these subtle changes of phases, okay? And that becomes a complex. Now what I'm doing is do one more thing, do the simpler version. Uh, we have done the complex version also, but for after that we did the step ahead. What we did is we combined two amplitudes with four phases. How many colors now we have? Six. Six colors. I actually, actually not six because two amplitude, four phases. So combination of these two amplitude with four phases means now I'm not having four colors only. I'm the four colors yes. and two days, two days. Sunday Monday. Yeah. Now Sunday can interact with the red. Sunday Sunday red. Sunday black. Sunday cyan. Sunday magneta. Mm. Okay. How okay, four? Eh? Four combination with the Sunday. Sunday. Now Monday red, Monday black. whatever, no, sorry, Monday black, Monday red, Monday cyan, Monday magneta. Another four combinations. So in total I have four into two. Eight, eight combinations. If I have eight combinations, I have got now eight colors. Like the colors, I've got eight colors. But I don't have a straightway colors because I'm not a straightway phases. I'm using phases plus two amplitudes. I'm using four, four phases. Color. Two plus two amplitudes. So total combination how much? Eight. Eight combinations. If I have eight combinations, how many bits I can represent by that? Three. Three. Two raised power three yes. equals eight. Two raised to power three equals eight. So you have eight combinations, you've got three bits. Yes, if you've got a four combination, you've got a two bits. Two bits. You can represent per signal two bits. Two. Now I can represent per signal three, three bits, bits if I have the eight combinations. And how, how I'm getting three eight combinations? I'm using another thing, what's called as QAM. That's what I said yesterday, perhaps. Yes, Combination of amplitude and phase, combine them together. Mm -hmm. So what's called as quadrature, I'm using quadrature because I'm using only the multiples of 90. I'm using 0, 90, 180 and 270. Okay, not other guys like 35, 25 degree. I can use any degree, isn't it? Yes, but that will become a little tougher on the rece uh, recipient. Okay? Yes, okay. Now I got a quadrature because I'm using that. But now with with quadrature, what I am having amplitude. amplitude. So quadrature amplitude <coughs> modulation. Okay, in short, what is the QAM? This is the major. This comes in exam also. So here, what I am doing is I am tremendously increasing the bit rate, bit rate per baud. How many bits per baud? Four. Bit. Or three? Three bits. Three. Why? Because I'm having four phases and two amplitudes. Plus two amplitudes. Now I've got two amplitudes and four phases. Four cross two is how much? Eight. eight. So we can have eight combinations. And eight combinations represent what? Three. Say for example, we've got amplitude three. one and amplitude two. Mm. Okay? Now phases are how what, what phase we have? Zero degree, 90 degree, degree. 180 degree, and 270 degree. degree. First A1 will combine? So we will have one combination, A1 and 0 degree, zero degree. A1 and 90 degree, A1 and 180 degree, A1 and, A1 and two two seven. then B. A2 and 0 degree, A2 and 90 degree, A2 and 180 degree, similarly A2 and 270, now this will represent me 0, 0, 0, this will represent me 0, 0, 1, then 0, 1, then 0, 1, 1, 1, do you need background music? 1, 0, 0, okay, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, is it? And 1, 1, 1, 0 to 7, 8 combinations, so, so if I am present this, this stuff, for example, there are two amplitudes, like this, I got two amplitudes, I say one amplitude is smaller, and one amplitude is bigger, and phases we know, 0 degree, 180, and this, 
Now, how do you present this a1 and 0? This is my a1, this is my 0 degree. Is it? it this, this thing is a1, 0. Is it? Amplitude 1 and 0 degree. This is amplitude 2 and 0 degree. This one. This one is amplitude 1, this one. Zero degree. Does it make sense what I'm doing? Yes. Sir. Sure? Yes. Sir. You got it perfectly? Yes, sir. Good. Now, what else? If I want to use amplitude 2 and 90 degree, amplitude 2 means this thing? Should I use it like this? Yes. No, because I don't have to use phase 0, I have to use phase 90. 90. Is it? Yes, sir. Starting from the 90 degree, no, start from the 90 degree. I'm starting from 90 degree and phase is this. What about the A1 and 90? A1 and 90 means use amplitude this but phase 90, is it? Shorter, shorter amplitude, phase 90. Bigger amplitude, phase 90. Phase 90. Yes. So what is this representing? If I have this thing. What is this representing? 101. 101? What is this? 101. This is not representing 0, this is not representing 1, this is representing 101, this is representing 3 bits. I'm sending one signal element. I'm sending what? One signal element, but I am sending 3 bits. So am I increasing baud rate? No, sir. No, sir. I'm increasing bit rate. Bit I got more bits per baud. That's what I was talking about. I got more bits per baud. Is it slot time? No, we have time. Is it? Yes, more bits per baud. Per signal. That's what baud got. Per baud. Yeah, per signal. Basically, that's what per baud means. Baud actually means the signal. Okay. So we got more bits per baud. So three bits per baud. What is the called? Quadrature amplitude modulation. Yes, and we can use more. So you got a home assignment now. You got a home assignment. You will tell me about the modems. We had a modems. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. We got a version. We got a modem version. Three point two bis. Bis. Yes. Version three point two bis. You know, you you got thirty sixty four k. You know, you, the modems which comes with the desktops. Yes, yes, five six years back. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yes, sir. Uh, 52k. Yeah. <laughs> so you are using that. Uh, we had a modem like, like we got a one system there. Yeah. That is the Compaq uh, P4 system. It has a modem in that. Which is in some same one. Yes. You have to tell me what it is using. What technique it is using. Is it using quadrature modulation or, or some? Because then there was a uh, 24,000 bits per second, and there was a 96,000 bits per second. Yes. So you will read about these modems. We'll read about these modems using some book. If we use uh, the book which has given it in a good way, is Tannenbaum. Tannenbaum has given it. Yeah, you have. I, I told you previously, Ferozen. Huh? Behros Ferozen is not giving discussing it too much. Tannenbaum has discussed this too much. Or you can have a Wikipedia as a better way. Go for Wikipedia and search for the modems and their quadrature and what, what kind of modulation it's doing. And one one more term is called. That's called constellation pattern. That's called what? Constellation pattern. We show it using some pattern. Like this one, I show it like this. I got a four phases, one, two, three, and four phases and two amplitudes. This is my one amplitude, this is my second amplitude. With every phase, I'm using two amplitudes. Is it? Yes. With every phase, <coughs> this is my phase. Is it uh, coming on recorder? It doesn't come. Uh, let me make it here. Okay? These are my four phases, 0 degree, 90 degree, 180 degree, 270, whatever. So with every phase, I got a two amplitudes. These are amplitude, dots and amplitudes. Mm -hmm. So this is your QAM exactly. Constellation diagram of your QAM. Exactly. Okay? Two Can't we increase more? We may yes. use more phases? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. More amplitudes? Yes, if I use three amplitudes here? If I use more phases? Yes, sir. Is it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. With three, three amplitudes, I can increase more. More I can have a I can have a more bits per baud. Is it? This is what the latest moderns are doing. Yes, sir. Increasing increasing the and uh, these phases. Actually, for what we have, we need more combinations. Combinations. It's about combinations. How many combinations we have? If we have, for example, sixteen combinations, we can use four bits per signal. Yes. If we have thirty-two combinations, we can use five bits per signal. Is it? Yes, sir. So we are saying sending same signal. You are sending what? Same. But the meaning changes now. I am sending, here I am sending same, this. In previous cases, this was 0 or 1. 
in this case it is 0 0 0 is it yes sir or maybe uh, it may be if i say here if i say this is my bigger amplitude like this okay then it is 1 0 0 it is sending me 3 bits it's sending 1 0 0 but if you say previously it was only 1 i'm sending the same signal actually i'm not doing anything i'm, I'm not doing any, i'm sending the same signal what i was sending previously but the meaning has changed but the meaning has changed you hear me now we are more intelligent we are, we are using same signal but the what meaning we get out of it when we receive it is totally different because the recipient and the sender they are in, in in some contract in some sort of you know agreement that if I send this signal then it means this okay does it make sense what, I said, what we are saying today okay so this was our topic on what the digital data into the Analog, analog, analog signal. signal. So we are doing a lot of things here. We have today learned how the bit rate is actually increasing or the baud rate. I will take the exam of that. Okay, I will take the line coding also exam. Yes, and the, the, this assignment, the modems will read yes, what they do. Now you have an idea how we increase the bit rate. Yes. Now you can understand when you read there on a Wikipedia or whatever you want to read uh, about the modems and their constellation patterns and their modulation techniques. Okay? Yes. That's all today. Masalama.